Hi, welcome to the alignment series. Next up is extended side angle, Pars Vokanasana. Uh, if you haven't watched the Warrior Two video, go there and then come back to this one because I'll give you the gist here, but a more in-depth look at the pelvis, the legs, the actions is in the Warrior Two video. Extended side angle is Warrior Two with a little bit of a, a little bit of flair. Okay, so right toes face the front edge of your mat. Your second toe is your straight ahead toe. Left arch is in line with left heel. Some people like to go heel to heel. I prefer arch. You decide for your body. Good. Notice again, as we talked about in the Warrior Two video, the tendency to dump your left hip forward. Take the left hip back uh -huh, and deepen into the right leg. Lots of variations here. If, it's, if your hip feels like it's opening out, turn your toes in extra. Like you can go on a, a pretty you know, one to two inch in on that left foot angle, the back foot. Right forearm pushes on the thigh, not to dump, but to resist and deepen into the right leg. Now push into the right leg and pull energy back to the left leg, the back leg. The back leg is the leg that usually loses its oomph here. So a lot of us working the right shoulder blade on the back, left arm over the ear. Here's what your arm needs to do. Bicep turns behind you, like your palms trying to turn behind you here. Okay. That's a tough for a lot of us. So activate your legs, stay there. Notice if you're doing this like hip falling forward thing. Looks like, like you're a swoop, like you're a back bend. Instead, left hip back, right knee deepens, right heel pushes, anchored through the midrib. It's a slight rotation. Take your left arm out in front of you, straight out from your same direction as your belly button or your not front leg <laughs> arm. Mm, that's really good. Then turn your left thumb up, soften your elbow if your biceps are tight, and sweep your arm over your ear. Is there a chance you're now looking at your bicep? Sure. Could you lift it a little higher? Yes, but if it starts to go back open, like this way, okay, not what we're looking for. We're looking for external rotation, which gets a bit confusing, okay? Good. Ribs in, anchor down, rotate the heart open, plug the arm into the joint. What other versions can you do? I love a block. Inside or outside, I prefer outside because my knees want to fall in. So I like to put it on the outside and push my knee into the block. Mm -hmm. If you go all the way down to the floor, right, Ashtanga often said that there's a couple practices that love for you to do this. What I find personally is I start to get like here and I don't feel very active and I'm just dumping. And the other thing is my back leg isn't doing shit. Not shit, nothing, okay? So maybe if you're gonna go there, try fingertips. But for a lot of us, these versions are just as beneficial, if not more. Remember, if you're flexible, your job is to stabilize. If you're inflexible, your job is to surrender into space. Good. Of course, the bind is right arm inside the leg, left arm behind the back if you're on the right side. And then you're working, <laughs> how's this? <laughs> you're working to lean your upper body back. So if you bound, and you're here, not really working for you. It's not highest and best. If you're bound and you're trying to wrap around your crotch, like those terrible bodysuits that came back in, who's decided that? I assure you, that was not a woman's decision that snap, snap crotch. I don't know, maybe you love them to each their own. You do you. Okay, so if you're trying for that bind around the leg, you need to be able to lift up and away. Otherwise, it's not working. <clears throat> right? Ooh, it's tough. Good. Also, there's no hierarchy. One version is not better than the other. It's what's best for you today. Good work. Triangle's up next. Check it out if you're interested, but maybe you do these one at a time and you just get to know a posture, work on it until you start to feel like you understand it in your body, but then don't hold the boundary there. Let it let it breathe, let it move, let it change. Good work. I'll see you soon.